England have a winning record against Spain, but that was partly built up before Spain's football gains. England are now facing the best ever incarnation of the Iberians. The high bar set by Canada is not about to get much lower. Referee today, Juliana Dimitrescu from Romania. For this blockbuster contest. And all the players take the knee. A lovely reception, Harrow Road taking note of the message. No room for discrimination of all kinds. Well, away we go at Carrow Road. The Lionesses against La Roja. And looking to immediately be on the front foot. Emma, you laid out pretty much how these sides would play. Just reiterate again how you expect this one to play out. Well, we've seen that over the past 12 months, the Spanish team has averaged the football 70% of the time. So it will be a counter-attacking game for England. And already getting forward with bronze in towards Paris. It's flicked up onto her hand. Take a look at the shape of this England midfield. Nobs can't get on the end of that. Spain will start their passing. Don't need me to tell you, they like to keep the ball. Well, you can see that. You can see already England set up in a 4-2-3-1. Stamway and Scott protecting the central area. It's going to be crucial for them because Hermoso plays in the false nine position. He has a particular interest to play down this left-hand side. And that's where I think Spain could become dominant today. Overloads with Proteus, Hermoso drifting into the inside spaces. And Badge, who often plays a right back, but can play in both positions. She's been moved across to left back for this one to accommodate Sheila Garcia on the opposite side, who usually plays a football in forward areas, Atletico Madrid, is Mapi Leon, one of the Barcelona presence in this Spain team. Hermoso looking for Garcia, and the first chance there for Jess Carter to stretch her legs in defence. Well, that's what I've come to see from Carter, especially over the course of this year. But you see already Hermoso peeling off onto Lons Lucy Bronze's side, just taking up that little bit of space in front. It's an area where she can be so dominant as a right-footed player, looking for passes in behind. I think Puteas in particular is going to be important for her. Here is Puteas looking to help that on to Lucia Garcia. Slipping in and looking for that pass to Amoso, but Lucia Garcia came off the bench to replace Caldente, to which she went off injured. Starting today. Zivana, another of the changes. Real Madrid centre back. Real Classico centre back pairing for Spain today. Well, one thing you will see throughout this game is a feature of Barcelona's, um, excuse me, Spain's build-up play, is that Patry in midfield will look to come and join the centre-back pairing, sometimes to build as a three. Most of the time they're trying to do that to draw an extra player out in midfield, but I can see the way Stanway and Scott are set up. They're sitting in the spaces, protecting areas where Homoso drops into. Spain making those changes from the last game, but that core Barcelona trio is still intact. Fundamental to the way they play, and here's one of them, Tana Bon Mati. Forced back there by Jordan Nobbs. Sheila Garcia. Well, that's the thing, you can't. They've got the most perfectly balanced midfield. You've got Patry at the base of that. 
He recorded 19 passes into the final third against Germany. And what you have alongside her, Bon Matti, probably one of the best dribblers in world football. And with Puteas in and around the box, she makes the most number of passes into the penalty area from anyone across Europe. Well, England being pressed hard here and losing it. Stanway caught in possession. Badje, Mimosa inside on Matti. Puteas runs in the way. Garcia Garcia can't pick out Puteas. A good position there. Badje. De Leon likes to step in, build from the back there. Badje, need to link up, and Bronze can't get there. Here is Badje going for the shot, it's going to break to Garcia. Inside it goes, England get it away in the end, and he did that free kick there, Paris. You can see when they lose the ball. Their high, Spain's high ball recoveries are exceptional, they really are the best i think in world football at doing that and england have to be cautious when you build out in these areas any turnover i think spain are very very clinical push again with england on the ball the greenwood there were two survivors from the canada game that was a strong challenge from ivana and an unfair one in the end on ellen white leading the line for england again I do think it's a smart tactic from England to skip the two midfielders out and play to Ellen White, who naturally comes into that false nine position. Because otherwise they're going to be forced into long ball situations. Ellen White, the record breaker for England in that game against Latvia, the all-time greatest goal scorer for the Lionesses. Actually cutting out the pass to bronze. Ajay, Manchester United fullback. There's Jess Carter. Greenwood to White. Stanway. England have worked this well. Mead. Knobs breaking forward. Plenty forward here, England, with it. Comes to an end. Jordan Knobs. He's going to get the ball back again here and help it. It was a penalty error, miscued that one. England keeping the pressure on. Scott goes for goal. Oh, she was caught there, she got her shot away. Well, good ball recovery there from Georgia Stanway, who set out already as the deepest lying midfield player. You can see what Serena's looking to do today, looking to get the ball up to Ellen White, to set back to midfielders to play out wide. To Mead or Paris. Here is Badge. England. To make it difficult for Spain to bring that ball out, but they do it so well. Puteas, another of her classy touches. Mamoso. Looking for the ball through the middle to Bonmati. Likes to make those breaks from midfield. Well, from midfield that you know well, Emma, in that game against Chelsea in that Champions League final. I mean, she's such a good player. She really is. I mean, while Puteas is the midfielder with the best gift to put the ball into the box, well, Matty's the best dribbler. Spain winning the ball back again in the England half. Garcia. Patri Guijaro, player of the match against Germany. Ivana. Iharo, that's a clever ball into Bon Matti. They work it wide here. I don't know. But well read by Jill Scott. She felt she was caught again. Looks to the referee. No decision for her. Again. Badge. Almosa's made a good run, but there's Lucy Bronx. Paris. Can England get out this time though? For all the possession that Spain have, I think a, the opponent is most vulnerable when Spain turn the ball over. And they're 
high ball recovery, the counter pressing is so exceptional, is where they create chances. Oh, trying to hold that ball up, couldn't do it that time. Ajay just calming things down for Spain to start again. So often over the years, Emma said about Spain that they will be good, technically good on the ball and everything else, but they don't harm you too much in behind. See if this Spain has the edge. Cardona got away. There was a little tug there from Greenwood. Well, I think the hard task you have is, as you see, with Bomati dropping short, is it's no long, no, not just Patry who's able to get on the ball in the deepest spaces, Bomati too. But Hermoso's causing England all sorts of problems, just dropping into the half spaces. Here, Garcia, Proteas, Rafi Leon. Here's the nickname version of her start of her name. If you see Maria on the back. Searching ball, and Hannah Hampton gets her hands on it. Be a settler for her. Her family moved to Spain, incidentally, when she was five. Scouted by Miriel, played her in attack. That her career has ended up between the sticks. She bowls that out to Lucy Bronze, who was immediately pressurised by Sia Garcia. Well, carrying on from the Canada game, this is England's biggest problem. You know, their ability to build out turning it over far too cheaply. She's made it in each other's way there. Oh, Paris putting the foot in on Badier. And England looking to break away, but Rodriguez's position was excellent. Flags up anyway. A good 50-50 between Paris and Battier. Certainly looking for a foul, but Battier's made the second most tackles in the WSL. Very aggressive defender. Sheila Garcia. The area of the pitch that England might be able to get at the Spain side, the player in just her fourth cap, not in her usual position for her club. Is Ivana. So well, so many of the Barcelona players. Here's Messia Garcia. He's the athletic club. The Basque. Well, England having to work so hard out of possession. Both Scott and Stanway have to stay central as much as possible, not get drawn too high in the game. Patrick Yaharo sends it out to that side a bit too much on that, but they won't stop her playing those sort of passes. Patrick Yaharo, best player on the ball. She recorded 96 passes against Germany, so the most in this calendar year. She's an exceptional passer of the football. Jordan Nobbs. do here since they've probably got a player down actually at the moment I think it's Daly they put it out put down to Palana especially under this Spain press Rachel Daly playing at left back at the moment well as I said before you're most vulnerable against Spain the minute they turn the ball over I think in this case she does get clattered on the side of her face in the throat as well painful one the situation actually in the game against Canada as well, the court. And as you said, Emma, absolute fighter, Rachel Daly. But for Serena Vigman, 1 1 against Canada, the test she wanted. Fine first half from England in that particular game. What do you think it changed in the second half? Emma? Well, I think the fact is, listen, it's a different game. You're playing a team like Canada, it's a little more similar to England. I think it changed because England struggled to build up. Once you play a high-pressing team, I think this is something Serena has to solve going forward. And you can see they're struggling even today with that same problem. The other for me is getting Lucy Bronze involved with the game because Ellen White certainly needs her service in the game. But I think it's going to be difficult for her to get out because of the overloading down her side. 
be a problem here for Daly as far as dental work is concerned. But England restored. Full number of players on the pitch. Daly returns. And Spain will return to their build up play. Rodriguez, too much on that. She was put under pressure, the goalkeeper from Real Madrid. But that's one thing I think England should do is they press Spain on the backward balls like that. I think that's where you can force the turnover with them. And I think when they're in these areas, they're going to have to be patient. And if you beat the press, this can happen. Nobs. And it goes to Mead. And Mead sends it in. That's a ball played by Rodriguez. Well, that's certainly good play from the Arsenal pairing. Nobs making the underlapping run. I think White makes the decision to go front post here. There's a back post ball. charge forward there was an outlet for England and she'll take that corner well, that's one thing England do need today even though she was in the game in the second half against Canada she made five crosses and I think that's the service Ellen White will need today one of England's best set piece takers has gone across to take this one in Greenwood can England pose from this corner Greenwood to take, John Scott in there. We're just making sure things are right and proper in the penalty box. Well, it has to be, because England have scored 13 goals from the last 11 games from set pieces. This is their strength. To the near post. Keeping them guessing. Finally in from Greenwood. Teaser for Rodriguez to be rescued. The defensive header and Apileon trying to run it out. Well, that's interesting set up from Spain and player marking everywhere. Just one zonal player at the front post. So there's certainly mismatches, especially for Jill Scott. England set it in towards Scott. Break to a white shirt, will it here? Bronze battling, and Bronze penalised. She's unfortunate there. Good spell of pressure from England, certainly got the crowd going. But I think when England are aggressive in these areas, again, I think this is something that's improved under Serena's leadership. Ivana out to Sheila Gonzalez. Mead on the line to link up with Jordan Nobbs, two Arsenal players. On my team, Jay. Oh, Carter, watch for all they mixed up there. Can England rescue the situation? Carter clears it. Bon Mati going for the chip. And England survive. Uh, miscommunication. You see Carter first to the ball. Clearly Hampton's called for it. I think Jess Carter does well just to get something on that. Nervy moment for the young goalkeeper and the young defender. But again, zero build-up from England. Got to find a way to solve high presses. It's the same. The Spain goalkeeper having the same problem. Well, but as I mentioned before, I think once there is a backward ball towards their goalkeeper, that's, I think, a great opportunity for England to press. Pateas put under pressure by Scott. 
almost paid off for England. Stanway, now bronze. It's not trying to turn. Mateus. It's Bajek. Iharo. Crunching challenge in there. You know, real credit to England. They're working so hard off the ball. See how far Nobbs came across, how much work Paris is doing going backwards. It's we a can great see effort. Sorry, I mean, there, just to cut you, you can see on the back of the shirt there the name Patry. Spain tend to go for the first names. They're calling their players. Don't worry, not getting the names wrong. Here's Nobbs. De Leon. Santantri Gihara being pressurised there. And they've had a bit of joy in the last five minutes or so. Well, that's where I think they've been smart. They're not allowing Patry any time on the ball. She pulls the strings. That means Bon Matty has to get more involved like she is here. They worked it wide to Badier. See Garcia. Ramosa. One of those with her surname on the back of her shirt. De Leon. See Garcia. Driving down the line and bronze. Or we'll see it out just about. Lucy Bronze, whose last competitive game for England was in the World Cup. Again, good doubling up. Paris supporting Bronze down this side. And 2v1, do a good job. Lucy Bronze, FIFA's best of 2020. The Ballon d'Or wasn't held in that particular year. But yes, on both those prices. 2021. Hannah Hampton and England deciding to build out from the goal kick and then Greenwood goes long. Oh, that was a good one there for the tight marking on Mead. The thing is, the way Spain are setting up to press is almost like Canada did the other day. And England are not brave enough to play through their fullbacks. And yes, Spain are setting the traps for those areas, but if they Drop one or two yards, I still feel they could play out through Bronze and Daly. Greenwood going long and Paris trying to sneak in behind. Happy Leon taking no chances that time. Better than 13,000 in Caro Road for this one. So that's pretty much half full, and that's a fabulous turnout considering the storms the last few days. Any commitment. Well, here comes Puteas with a bit of space. Like a spell of problem for England. You see a Garcia. Puteas, there's the one touch quality and this is a problem and there's the cover from Carter. Well, we're seeing Puteas' quality in the final third. It's a great combination down this left-hand side. I keep looking across and Spain still short of bodies in the box. And not to reference Harry Kane or anything like that in regards to his striker taking your corners, but Hermoso does like to take the corners for Spain. Hermoso sends it there. England should easily clear, just got past the head of Puteas. Sheila Garcia trying to get past Paris. Paris. Sticking to task, but can't lose it there. No foul. Will England get the blow of the whistle in the end? You cannot hang on to the ball once you regain it in your defensive third. And while Paris has done a great job, this is where they are the world's best. And yes, they concede the foul, but so many times I've watched this team 
regain the ball, create chances from that. Well, even at the moment, this, as we've said so many times, such a test ahead of the European Championships. This could be the final. They both win their group. Obviously win the matches after that. Scott's trying to help it on, flags up. So nothing in the end. Oh, Scott's, done, down. Scott's done so well with them second ball recoveries every time they've gone forward. I think she's been in and around it to help support Ellen White. Well, Nikita Paris involved in defence there. <laughs> she didn't, didn't use last night her older sister Natasha Jones becoming WO, WBO world champion. Some good news in the family there. She become European champion in the summer. There's Ivana. And it goes, and Amoso dropping off the front. And almost finding a way through. Bonmati making a run. Carter dealt with it. This bounce is awkward for England. Stanway. Bronze. It's just Carter. Stanway read it well. Turns. To launch an attack, but caught on the ball. Tree Giharo slides it. Bonmati, Bonmati to sell Greenwood there. And getting the bodies back. Cardona. Cardona whips it in. Hampton pushes it away. And Stanway, mostly for England in the right place. But England finding it difficult in that sort of area. Well, that's where Stanway has to learn two balls in a row. Turnover, holding on to it too long. So Spain, top in possession stats. Creating too much so far, but I hope that will come with this pressure. So England just can't get out. Bronze, though, down the line. Sometimes that might just be the best option in this scenario. Well, I think in those situations they are, especially with Ellen White willing to run the channels. Ajay. Get back from Puteas. Ramosa. Sia Garcia. Ajay. The carousel begins. Pileon. Puteas. Badier. It's not strange seeing a fullback there. You see the style of play. Badier leaving it. Puteas couldn't quite get it away, but then Nobs loses it immediately. Pileon. Spain have England pinned in. They do it so well. They suffocate you, make it so difficult. Was that run inside from Cardona, one of the Real Madrid contingent? That's what I don't think they do enough of. You know, those runs in between the centre-back and the full-back. You've seen on, on this side with Bronze and, and Carter. Carter's got the pace to cover those areas. Jorge Vilda watching on, the man who's actually revolutionised this Spain team. Now, England want a booking for Gladier here for the challenge on Mead. Just come across to the opposite wing here. I certainly think going forward need to be more coming down both flanks, so smart move. Now getting behind England here. Greenwood. And Daly turning away. Had to try that now. Can Ellen White hit goal side here. Rodriguez. Always high. Cover that. Flags up again though. Ellen White, who scored against Spain in 2019. England's last home meeting against them where they won. England do have a winning record against Spain. But not this Spain. And we have to repeat that, of course. Because this Spain revolution, it feels, since Jorge Vilda took over after one period of the same manager from 1988 to 2015. Jorge Vilda taking them to the next level and making them favourites for the Euros. Leon. Nirvana. Now time on the ball. Looking for 
I don't know who seems quick there, but Hampton comes out. Well, that's the space I'm referring to. I think the one big difference between Barcelona and this Spanish team is the lack of, I think, top, top quality wide players. Caroline Hansen and Leaky Martins, Barcelona, thrive in those areas. I think that's where Spain, you know, have to really find their next level. Well, Hampton finding knobs into that position, but they're quick to press again. I do think as the game wears on, England will try to play a little more out of the back. I totally understand with this aggressive Spanish press why they're going longer. Paris forcing a throw in there. Here's to Paris. No goals for her in the WSL since signing for Arsenal. Game time hasn't been easy to come by after they signed plenty of players in those forward areas. Spain, how will they build out under England's pressure? Patrigi Haro, back to the goalkeeper. Lisa Rodriguez. There's bronze, Matty Leon is there. Pateas could get away from Scott. Big tackle in there from Jill Scott, who has been doing that for a long, long time. A debut back in 2006. Well, I think she's done it really well today. It's been around the second ball, she's been prepared to put her body in the way. I think everybody wasn't sure if she was going to play as the deepest line player, but Stanway's got that role. They wanted a free kick, they're not going to get it. And a lot of that, looking towards the officials for a bit of assistance. There's Patrick Giharo, scoop ball forward towards Samoso. Carter tight to her. Stanway. Greenwood. Paris. Interesting tactical battle. So we saw in the game between England and Canada as well, the game between Spain and Germany. These are the top level sides. Just makes it so fascinating. Trigiharo, Nivana. White trying to put the pressure on. Oh, Pateas, lovely touch. And it sets the tempo for Spain, it feels like. Badje, she just took a heavy touch herself. Now White's all challenged from behind. Must be a free kick, and we're going to see a booking as well for Ivana. You can't make challenges like that. I was wondering if she was going to give the free kick. <laughs> a clear foul. Good aggression again for England to get the ball back and the game plan is working in terms of getting the ball up to White but beyond that England have to find I think more especially in the wide areas if they're going to fashion many chances so Luke, this is not Spain's first choice centre-back pairing Pereira on the bench and Paredes in out injured Greenwood playing it in towards Stanway again. Spain quick to trigger that press there. Can England get out of this one? Bronze goes long now. White offside again. Oh, nearly there. But that ball across the bronze, that's where you can draw their midfield out. There's that clip ball in behind. It's definitely on once you solve the initial press. Certainly see with Greenwood so far being really brave, wants to be on the ball, wants to play. Pileon. Looking for Badje and Bronze caught in two minds of who to mark there. Ramosa. Pressurising from Meade. Oh, and Puteas didn't like that challenge. Never made the big stare. Amoso, Puteas. Amoso again, dropping off again. Puteas once more. Moving, shifting. And Patrick Iharo, they've worked that nicely, just runs out of play. But we saw the little Barcelona combination there again and why they're so smooth. Yes, indeed, but 
really compact defending from England. They've made it difficult for Spain to get in behind them. And you can see with Patry, she wants to switch the ball to the far side, but England are not letting them settle on the ball, which is important. <laughs> Daly wants the assistant to move out the way for her throw in. And Spain get it back. With Patea, sent on the right side now. Looking for Hermosa. See what she was trying to do. Carter was sharp. Here's Paris. And Greenwood. Oh, the choice there again. He knows that the challenge, even when you do win it back. Well, England have had to work so hard in the wide spaces, even the low spaces. Hermosa in the rain. Coteas got that pass out to Hermoso. Here's Mappy Leon. England, everybody behind the ball. They won't be the only side like that. Sheer against Spain. And they're inside, exchanging with Puteas. Tree Vihara out to that right hand side, Sheila Gonzalez. Or Garcia, I should say. Puteas. Carter away. But that's where England have really struggled. When they do win the ball, bodies are really, really low because they're sat, sat in a 4 4 1 1. They've got to do better at holding the ball up to allow players to get up. Spain find a way through this England defence in their latest attack. Pateas. Von Mati. Shigiharo out towards Badje. De Leon. Carter. No nonsense with that one. Seeing her at centre half today. I think the good thing with Jess Carter, she can play anywhere across the back four. That versatility, I think, will be useful for Wiegmann going into the championship. Samoso. Tejas keeping that ball away from the English challenges and comes to nothing. Spain certainly have to work hard to progress the ball up the pitch. You see Mappy Leon looking to create even more overloads down this left-hand side, but really good defending from England. What about Jess Carter in that position? I just think she's doing such a great job for club and country. She's deserving of what's coming her way. Now, England keeping the press on there. Rodriguez's kick. Can they keep it in on this side? They can. Meads, nicely done. Sends the cross in towards Whites. Not that far away from making a clean contact with that one, Ellen White. Daly keeping the pressure on here for England in a rare attack. Carter. Stanway. The turn. Gets in out to Meade. Plenty forward waiting for the cross. And Badye took a nick off her and into the arms of Misa Rodriguez. Well, it's the first time we've seen England come down this right-hand side and, and give some service to Ellen White. This is what we've come to expect from Beth Mead. S just slightly behind up, difficult angle, but it's got the crowd going again. Well, when Spain conceded against Germany late on, that was the first time they conceded in 17 matches. It's a 1-0 defeat against the United States in March 2020, which was also Spain's last defeat. It's a tough side to beat, a tough side to score against, and that is their template. We hope will take them to the world title. Unfortunate to lose against the United States in 2019. Two penalties. Seeing them knocked out in the last 16, that meant they didn't qualify for the Olympics. Here's Ivana. Turning and escaping Paris. Gina Garcia on Matty. In goes Scott there again. It's tough to get away from her. Oh, that's 
been it's too much on that perhaps just kept in Garcia Garcia had so many chances against Germany now pass a little short and Badier sheepishly runs away well Spain getting a little frustrated clear foul on Mead but England have done so well on the backward ball and that's another question of course do England have more depth than Spain difficult question to answer as it were but plenty of talent in England I think it's fair to say we have the best league in terms of competition game in game out week in week out Barcelona dominating their league but to be fair they're dominating the Champions League as well at the moment we beat Arsenal in two games top to group with Hoffenheim in it as well I mean there's no doubt there's a lot of similarities between the teams but as I mentioned before I don't see the same wing play that I see uh, in the Barcelona team and yes they're stingy teams only get really one big chance a game and you have to be clinical with it trying to be well, there England with their pressing really at the right moments as you said Emma they've done it that side of it pretty well Boteas lovely touch to find Cardona who keeps on going and picks the pass to Garcia drop for the shoulder curler and Hampton behind it well certainly all the play for Spain has been down this left hand side not for the first time Garcia Cardona players that creating most opportunities for Spain Hampton going long now Paris could she get there but Sheila Garcia is quick as well in the winger herself but Nikita Paris never leaves the opposition alone Such a committed player well, I think we have to look at England's bench I mean at nil nil it's been a brilliant defensive performance from England and if they want to create more going forward, I look at some of those players on the bench to come into the game. Well, they can make six substitutions, England. Three intervals. So expect to see a lot of that bench in the second half. And that's the one thing, maybe the game just fell away from Spain a little bit when they made all their changes. And that ball forward, just going to run away. But that will be a big part in the second half. We could see what we saw in the Canada game, completely different picture in the second half after all those substitutions. Well, I don't think Spain are uh, playing their best football in this tournament. What I would say is that England have put together a team with eight changes from their first game, and they've done a really good job, especially defensively. I think to the next level, going forward, we have to improve. Yeah, nine changes from England for this game. Spain get a goal before half time. On Mati to Garcia. Make sure it's flood back though. Magic. Patri Guijaro for once dispossessed, but even when you do that, you have to be better than that. Spain are quick to try and get it back off you immediately. The best sides do. Men's game as well. Leon looking for that switch pass across and it's just going to run away there but England and Spain meeting for the 15th time and England with that winning record six wins over Spain and no country has beaten Spain more often than England along with France and the United States so they know how to beat them but as I've said already this is a Spain improving, getting better. Beat Scotland in a qualifier 8 0 in their last competitive game. Now, Paris. De Leon, strong defender. He felt that should have been a throw into Spain. A nice smile. So, not to attempt fade at all, but it looks like England have. Done well enough in this first half. 
Absolutely. I think the depth is showing their qualities defensively against the top team. I think the way England have set up have made it difficult for Spain to dominate the central areas in exactly the way they want to. Here's Stanway. Carter. Out to bronze. to see too much of the attacking threat of Lucy Bronze in this game. Try to drive on now, that's a decent pass into Scott. And then they'll look for Bronze again. Not quite work getting he tried to force the issue down that right-hand side. I think Bronze is still building her fitness after being out for some time. And this big challenge is flying in now. The end of the half, Bronze. Putting pressure on Spain, Pateas losing the ball. Mead inside, Nobbs helping it on. Probably a bit rushed in the end. Spain were stretched. I think that's the thing I'm most critical about with England. Just lack of composure in the final third. They're doing so many things well. Yeah, one more minute, at the very least. And yeah, see ya. Nirvana. So just like Spain's opening game, didn't it too much. But Ivana looking for the ball over the top, and Hampton made that one easily enough to her arms. No real troubles for her, bar that mix up with Jess Carter. In Stanway. Greenwood across. Now Daly. Just goes back. Greenwood, now Carter, up to the minute played, I don't want to take any chances, see just before half-time. There is the half-time whistle, as expected, Spain dominating the ball, but England, this much changed England side, have done enough to keep them out, restricted their chances, and posed enough of the threat to suggest this game could go either way in the second half. A debut for Hannah Hampton, untroubled really, overall but the main headline is that neither side has scored half time at carrow road it's england nil spain nil Jordan Nobbs is going to get the ball back again here and help it. Thomas a penalty error, miscued that one. And keeping the pressure on. Scott goes for goal. Oh, she was caught there. She got her shot away.
behind Cardona. Who keeps on going and picks the pass to Garcia. Drop for the shoulder, Curler and Hampton behind it.
A great reception for Lauren Hemp in her home county. The girl who started playing for North Walsham Youth for a short stint at Norwich City. And she is on for Nikita Paris. So one change from England and one change from Spain. Inia del Castillo, a Real Madrid forward, coming on. Cadona making way, a uh, Real Madrid teammate. So Spain underway. Emma, are you expecting any change from those changes? Well, I was critical of Spain's wide players. Del Castillo is a fantastic player. And I think with Caldente, who had, is not playing today, they, for me, are the top two players for them in those positions. So I think she'll bring something to Spain. Equally, Hemp coming in. We all know this is her home territory. All the pressure from England might pay off here. It's hemmed! Oh, couldn't have come closer. What an impact that would have been. Just seconds after coming on. I think the stadium would have exploded. Just the player England needed. She will bring so much to their attack going forward. So close. Spain themselves scored. Straight after half time against Germany. Almost got a taste of their own medicine there. Zivan. Garcia. Him works so hard in the game against Canada in her pressing. Her trucking back off the ball work. Testing the ball from her in the first half. Spain giving it away. Oh, but Stanway couldn't squeeze it through. Shaky start to the second half from Spain. Love to knock them out of their rhythm. They're so good in their rhythm normally. Well, like I said, going forward on the left hand side, England will have a different dimension. Well, I think Spain will too down their left hand side. High foot from Jill Scott. Straighted. She didn't mean it there. Cap 155 for Jill Scott today. Still the rain comes down from Carrow Road. Guteas. has been stuck with that midfield three through the middle of the second half against Germany. Here's Guteas trying to get round Scott. They're trying to crowd round her there. And there was a late challenge and the referee's going to bring a card out here for Beth Mead. Well, I don't know, because I haven't seen the replay. It looked a little late. But you can see Spain looking at Mappi Leon, their left-sided centre-back, to be the playmaker for them. It's a foul, but I don't know about a yellow card. And I didn't feel in the first half that Patrick Guijaro dominated and dictated the way she did against Germany. So Mappi Leon will have to do a lot of that on that left-hand side. Barcelona centre back is going to take this free kick. England have everybody back. De Leon sends it in. Hermoso looking to steal it. Nivala taking the shot. And it was blocked in there by Greenwood. It's up spinning behind. Well, it's a great ball. Mappy Leon showing her qualities on the dead ball and while England win it in the first phase not good enough around the second phases Greenwood close to that and I think it hit Hermoso in the end hence the goal kick England trying to pass out that's what Spain want to see so they can press and win it like that for Teas Bon Mati quickly the cover from Jordan Nobbs a long time serving in this England team. 
I think if England are going to build out the use of their fullbacks, they have to come really, really low, invite the press, and look for different options other than just up the line. Matty, force back. Zidane. De Leon. Here's Del Castillo. Carrying that ball inside, that sharp play, looking to link up, and she still has it. Worked it well as well to see Garcia. And a big challenge in there from Rachel Daly, who can bring it away now for England. And they do have numbers forward here. Stanway needs classy touch. Now, can Ella White get to this? Oh, the leg came out from Mappy Leon. Fantastic tackle and had to get it right. Well, it really was perfectly timed from Mappy Leon. I thought originally the ball was going straight out wide to Bronze, and I think that's why Ellen White was a little slow. She didn't quite expect it. England threatened in this second half. Here comes Spain. It feels like we're going to have quite the second half here. And turn finds Stanway. Nice pass. Knox wanted the ball played over the top. Come to her. Greenwood into Knobs, just stuff and away from her. Well, you've seen already Del Castillo looking to come inside. They're a fabulous wide player. Surprised not to see her starting. She wasn't even in this squad, really, officially named. Caldente, the injury to Marina Caldente. Spain to call her up. Badge. Oh, Castillo has already shown her intention to carry the ball and play it back inside. I surprised Badge actually in the end. But already making a difference, still Castillo, as you said, Emma. Yeah, well, you can see he's a bit more end product. She's prepared to drive at Lucy Bronze, find that little slip pass. That's where Buteas likes to be. Bring it on, Del Castillo, back it goes. Hermoso, they're linking up now. Del Castillo looks a danger, plays it in. Mateus had made a run into the penalty area. And this game has introduced two top quality wide players and it feels like he's given it a spark. Yeah, absolutely. As I said before, if Caldente played as well, I think England would have had more problems. But this is brilliant from Lauren Hem. Lovely. First and second touch just to get it out of her feet. Looks to curl it into the bottom corner. So close. We know that Hemp hasn't really had the luck in terms of scoring goals for England. All four of her goals came in that 20 nil victory against Latvia last time out. But before that, she was hitting posts and crossbars and chances. It just wouldn't want run for her. And another one there. It's, it's the part of her game she needs to improve on for the amount of chances she gets. There's got to be more input, but she's young, she's so talented. Yeah, Lauren Hemp, 21 years of age. Firm fixture in England's best side. in from her and Knox making the break and she's found and here is the chance for Knox can she go all the way tracks it wide it almost paid off there well it's a great run from deep from Jordan Knox I thought this is what Germany did so well that deep run from midfield almost had too much time I think the first touch killed her and she was just looking for the right opportunity, but it's far too wide. Well, Jordan Nobbs didn't get involved in the game against Canada at Middlesbrough, place where she spent her youth. Daly does such a great sermon for England. Plays in forward areas for her club in America, but right back and now left back tonight. Scott and Nobbs. She can drive forward here. Hemp. First time ball goes in. Mappy Leon away. Daly. 
Dunway lining one up. And Rodriguez watched it all the way. Well, there was nothing else in Georgia Stanway's mind. She does this so well. High ball regains from England. I've seen Stanway do this so much for a club team. Hermosa. Well, Castillo. Looking to take on Lucy Bronze. All his best right backs has been turned by Del Castillo. Fine play towards Mateas and Carter. Is it away in the end? Well, I did say in the beginning of the second half that a top player was coming in to the game, and I felt that was the area they needed to improve most, this Spanish team. So direct. Hermoso. Carter gets it away. As you see Garcia, but hit. Nicks in there. And Zivana. Squeezed out there by Patrick Iharo. This is an open second half. Mati. We'll be pretty unlucky if we don't see a goal here. Hermoso, Poteas, sharp turn. Getting the bodies back, here is Poteas, but on too many turns there. England win it back. Well, that's what happens when you're compact. You can back press like Jordan Nobbs just did. And Nobbs determined, ready in this second half with a real impact. Right first half on the ball, but Visible by her actions in this second half, that's for sure. Yeah, much like the Jordan Knobs of old, certainly started the half really well. And yet, Samosa. P. Leon. To Hermoso, that's a poor touch. Scott. The whistle's gone here. Scott looking around saying, what did I do? I think it was Scott that was the issue. Mappy Leon, Del Castillo, the ball just brushed the referee there. Not much of a brush, but enough to stop the game. What England have done so well today is they've made it difficult for Spain to switch the pitch. Um, by leaving Jordan Nobbs almost sat on Patrick Iharo, they've been unable to do it. Been forced to go down one side and stay down that side. Here comes Spain. And the cover challenge there from Mead. goes Rodriguez so far we've flown towards the hour mark already here's Amosa on the line she's going to run away Bronze should cover here Hampton the young goalkeeper growing in confidence this game so far Carter Scott helping it on. She's going to run away here to Badge. He lay on. Lay on again. The centre back sees plenty of the ball in the build up in this particular game. Proteas, Lamoso. Short combinations. Badge. Lamoso inside to Proteas. Little bit of space for her to operate. Badie. The break. To Del Castillo. Is this going to loop up? It will break to the Sierra Garcia. And she's dragged that wide. What a big chance that is. She couldn't take it. Huge chance for Spain. And the first time we'd seen the link up with Hermoso and Puteas down the left hand side. A little bit fortunate for the ball to come into those areas. But Garcia has to do better. Well, let's see it. Garcia, very close there. And we mentioned 13,000. Actually, the crowd is larger, 14,284.
the attendance for this game. Fine turnout at Carrow Road. Not as high as it will be at the Camp Nou in March. 85,000 will be there for the Champions League knockout game between Barcelona and Real Madrid, which will break all records for a women's club match. Here's Mati Leon. Mati. That's by Greenwood. Spain about to make another change. Here we see one of that midfield three taken off. Hermosa. It's Badge. Badge again. To carry it forward. England getting the tackles in. Spain keeping this move going. Garcia, but there's him. Knocked out there by Lucia Garcia. Well, Spain looking to progress down that left-hand side with Battier a little bit higher. At times, they've got double width. Gone for the switch here. Adele Castillo takes it down beautifully. Carrying the ball so well. Hermoso. Didn't even get those bodies back. Pateas. Hermoso. Now this is the moment. Pateas. Big challenge in. And then the shot over from Badie. Well, what an impact. The sub. Castillo is making in the game. She's sitting in between Lucy Bronze and Jess Carter, and as a result of that, with Battier playing higher, England struggling to deal with that, and Hermoso and Puteas on that side of the pitch. Well, Spain have taken off Ona Badier and Olga Carmona, another Real Madrid player. A lot more Real Madrid players on the pitch for this game now. And England's change. Sees Leah Williamson take her captain's armband and on for Jill Scott. It's a double change in fact for England. Jordan Nobbs for her impactful moments. She's going to make way. And England have their double pivot. I'm not surprised by that. Spain just getting on top, I think, in those areas. But also for Spain coming on a left back that loves to bomb forward. So like for like on that side of the pitch. Kira Walsh on in that midfield. So we won't see Stanway in that deep area anymore. Williamson touches heavy. And there's the pressure from Spain. Puteas. Little ball inside. Bon Mati. They're working it and shifting it and the shots from the player of the second half, Del Castillo, but Hampton got there. Well, as I mentioned, Del Castillo sometimes playing as a false nine. It's Hermoso that's gone outside of the pitch. And Hampton showing her composure. Well, I think the Barcelona players will be keeping an eye on Del Castillo for their matchup in the Champions League. on by White. Well, what lovely options for England to be able to bring in players like Williamson and Walsh into the game. Uh, I think Stanway's had a solid game too, but this is a more natural position for her. So I'm getting closer to what we probably feel is going to be their team, their first team going forward. be that midfield structure who plays ahead of Walsh and Williamson is another matter I think we don't talk enough about the qualities of Alex Greenwood in possession you know that combination Walsh to Greenwood and vice versa I think opens up a lot for England cover there Carmona Lucia Garcia, Hermosa. And 
Garcia. Garcia, what a pass from Hermoso. Carter across. Carter gets the ball. That's what Carter does so well. Just caught a little bit Alex Greenwood. It's a wonderful pass in behind from Hermoso. Gina Garcia, Hermoso. Sliding challenge across England field. That should have been their ball, actually. The game's starting to open up just a little. See who that suits more. Ivan. Di Leon. And allowing her to progress the ball forward. to the second half approaching is Hermosa. On Mati trying to play it inside. Oh, the challenge in there from Stanway. She's going to get a booking for that. That was a painful one for Patrick Iharo. Being held to her feet. I don't think she wants to get to her feet, to be honest. Well, the combinations we've come so used to seeing for Spain have been coming off the last 10, 15 minutes. It's a lovely little link up between Giharo and Bon Mati. Definite yellow. Georgia Stanway has been sent off this season for her club. The Manchester Derby. <laughs> Mappy Leon. It's free kick for Spain. We await the breakthrough. This third game in the Arnold Clark Cup. Another tight affair between these two countries. <laughs> Pileon, that's a decent ball, just gets away though. And Hampton has held on to most things. Well, I think England set up really well. Puteas is normally the target player, but Spain looking to target the central zone against England. Should be a free kick to England on Mead got caught. She stayed down after that one. Fell on her. Yeah, painful one. I think the ref is going to have a tough job for the last 20 minutes. It won't be the end to the substitutions. And the rain really blowing around the pitch as well. There's Serena Vigman, that's what she thinks about the weather. A little bit cold. She looks absolutely freezing. <laughs> Jorge Vilda's had that collar right up the whole game. Played forward. Spain will just clear it. This might work out for them to see Garcia chasing after that ball, but couldn't quite get there. Well, these games have really played out as we thought or hoped they might. Not much between the sides in all the games. But that's lost by Stanway. Puteas. Trigiharo in towards Hermoso. Barcelona players win the ball well. Together. So many games together for club and country. Puteas looking for Bormati. Well, Pateas has grown into the game, second half. Been instrumental in everything they're doing in the middle of the park. Walsh. <laughs> One of her trademark. Long passes. Finds Mead. Bronze is up with her. Bronze clips it in. The best ball in the end. Here's Walsh keeping that pressure on. Bronze helping it out to Mead. Couldn't get it back. Final pass not there for England. Here's Walsh. His passing is already on point. Williams. And not for the first time, England pass when they should dribble and drive and dribble and drive when they should pass. Williamson trying to slip that one through to Stanway. Proteas. Chigiharo. Definitely the last pass for England. I think that they've lacked that all afternoon. 
<laughs> He's still frustrated on that particular attack. Because, of course, when Spain do get going in possession, you think, oh, we've got to wait a while before we get it back again. Zivana. Looking for an option. Not really there, but she found Pateas nicely. Kamuna. Another winger playing it full back for Spain. And Trigiharo, no, that one doesn't hit his mark. Same could be said for Spain in the amount of times you've seen Puteas and Patri Giharo get out of situations and then over either over hit the pass or under hit it. Oh, that's a risky pass for Hampton, but Daly helped it on nicely. And then again, it breaks down. And they're getting themselves in promising positions. Ivana slipping, and here's Hemp looking to pick the pass that she has. It's White. The challenge got back. They're enough. And England again. Just burning an opportunity. Oh, very close. Brilliant pass from him. That was perfectly timed. And even if England were a little fortunate, great regain from Lauren Hemp. Perfectly weighted pass. Good first touch, but gets stuck a little under her feet. The goal opened up there for Ellen White. Del Castillo, off she goes. Drives inside once more and gets it out to Lucia Garcia. Couldn't take it in her stride. Just lost it, but Del Castillo impactful in this second half, just like him. Now, what a pleasure to watch. She really is. I could see her growing into this shirt. And like I mentioned before, Caldente, who's not playing, excellent options for two Spain. Oh, need. Does get the free kick eventually, took a while. And that allows England to make their next change. And it's Fran Kirby. Chelsea's Fran Kirby on for Beth Mead. This will be interesting to see how England change it. Will Kirby go in this system? No goal for Beth Mead today. out for Frank Kirby in his closing stages in I'd love to see a central, but she's on the pitch and she's a player that's capable of that final pass. Bronx. <laughs> Get past. Nice play with a cross. Lucy Bronze, as you said in the first half, just working her way back from a long time out injured. Came off the bench against Canada. Wrapping up some minutes here, though, for England. Kirby. Greenwood. And to get it back towards Bronze, who has been able to get forward a little bit more in this second half. Well, I think if she can in the last 20 minutes, it will allow Kirby to come inside slightly. They've got the added protection of uh, Williamson and Walsh behind the, the ball, so I wonder if England will commit. the attack, Bronze driving forward right out of the room, Mappy Leon just leaves it enough for a goalkeeper. This game deserves a goal, it really does, as it's been an excellent watch without a goal. Ivana, and Matti, just quietly, it was about her business on the side. Garcia, but also in goes Greenwood defending well. What I've been impressed with of England's midfield defending is they're not being dragged out of position. So often Spain want to open up what I call the inner corridor channel, and England have defended it so well. And working hard not to be turned. Garcia, Garcia, that's a good pass on Matty. Carrying it and going on, and that's going to be a goal kick. Didn't quite work out for Bon Matti, one of the players who scored the Champions League final for Barcelona. And they're going to bring another winger on here. Sarigi from Real Sociedad comes on for Lucia Garcia. Sarigi started the game against Germany. 
She's stationed out on the right-hand side, and that's exactly where she's going to go now. Tough of the cheeks from Lucia Garcia. Probably could have had three goals in this tournament so far with her chances. Certainly had one of the best chances today. Chigiharo, strong header. Fell awkwardly, though. Concern for Spain. She's got to her feet. Moving too well. Carter. Greenwood. Walsh. Daly. Very aggressive play from England. Stanway. Greenwood, one thought in her mind to spread the play, and Bronx wins the header. And can Kirby get to this? The answer's yes. Williamson inside. Getting the bodies back, though. Greenwood. Looks pass. A bit more promise from England in attack in the second half. There's a slight change in what they're doing. They push Lucy Bronze much higher, so that means in the build-up, Williamson might drop into the fullback spaces to get on the ball, so that it allows Fran Kirby to be the second striker alongside Ellen White. It's encouraging to see the tactical plans from Serena Vigman on this England side in their first true tests of their stewardship. And we're just going to run away there. Also been impressed with Mappy Leon defensively. You know, considering they're missing Paredes, I think she's done a good job. She was actually in the squad of the tournament for the Champions League last season. And Paredes signed for Barcelona from PSG. That's not a replacer, but that's not in the next to Barcelona defence. Here's Bronze. the ball in, well here, Bronze, still Bronze, sends it in, will it find him? Good header in there from Sheila Garcia, Sariegi can bring it away. Well, that was a classic Man City pattern, Greenwood up to Ellen White, back to Kira Walsh, and then the ball out wide. Here it goes, Del Castillo, support, Carmona. Who sends it in and Carter in the right place again? Watching for Jess Carter in this game. Kirby. Top on her shirt. She got it to Ellen White, and that'll be a free kick to England. I think Ellen White's done a great job holding the ball up for the team, showing the right moments, used her experience. She's had to do a lot by herself, done it so well. She is the main woman up front for England. It's better to be at this Euros. Greenwood for the run of white. Trigiharo. That's a nice ball into Puteas. To get the side of Williamson. Picked up by Bronze. Kirby. To Bronze. Carter. Hampton away. to Bon Mati. De Leon. Hermoso. Mati. Tana Bon Mati. Spain working out, Sariegi. Puteas, little drop of the shoulder. Hermoso is tight, squeezes the shot away. But Hampton read that one. That's probably one of the first time I'd seen the double switches from Spain in the second half. Really patient play, and Hamoso on the edge of the box. Lovely pivot, but comfortable for Hampton on her debut. Certainly showing she belongs at this level. What's still great to see is that Spain is keeping out that 
midfield of theirs, and Hermoso is still playing as well. They'll take it off a little earlier against Germany. Maybe they just don't want to concede the game to England from this position. That's for sure. Stanway staying on, but not for much longer. Because Ella Toon of Manchester United will come on in that role behind the front. Well, I think really, really strong performance from Georgia Stanway, playing a role maybe not accustomed to. But I certainly think she could grow into that and play anywhere in the midfield. But what a talent coming on. Really think she's got a huge future for England. So, England getting more and more of the big guns out, more and more of the side. I think may start working game of the Euros on the pitch. Greenwood pumps it forward, breaks out to two. Ten, bronze. Wants to turn because he's going to have so many players forward here. And bronze does well, helps it in, helps in there. From Lisa Rodriguez. Greenwood looking towards Bronze again. Good in the air, Bronze, but couldn't work it back. Oh, certainly what we've come to expect from Lucy Bronze. And I'm sure with more and more games, we'll see more of, of this from her. It's lovely play to get in between. What you can't see on that picture is a cutback option as well as the deep ball. And get it back. And these two nations have met in recent times. It's always been close. Proteas, who scored the winner, and she believes Cup in 2020. Yes, right. England won the meeting before that. Rodriguez. A Real Madrid teammate Ivana. So Barcelona's Maitana Bonmati. Patrick Iharo, head up, looking to sweep that one behind bronze, and she's found her target. Del Castillo, this is promising for Spain. Del Castillo, lovely, pulled it back, nobody was there, but almost sat down Lucy Bronze. Oh, what lovely feat from Del Castillo. And that's the problem if you don't get pressure on Patty Iharo in the deepest spaces. She sprays a wonderful ball deep out into the left-hand side. Just decision-making. She does everything else right. And the attendance announced to the crowd who appreciate that. They've seen top class play in this game. A little tactical treat as well. Puteas. Shinagasia. Hermosa. Chigiharo. One goal would win it from here. Who will it go to? That's a tricky one to predict. Enjoyed this match so far. There's another one to come this evening. Canada against Germany. Don't miss that one. Quarter to eight on ITV4. And then next week, the final round of games, starting with Spain against Canada from 2 p.m. And then England play Germany in the evening. But at the moment, we're looking at another draw here. It's 
going to be tough to see or predict who's going to win this competition. Here's Hermoso. Still time for a winner. Puteas. Trying to help that round. Now Del Castillo tearing after that. And she kept it in as well. That's brilliant work again. I mean, Spain just need to keep getting the ball out into that area of the pitch. What an impact from the sub. And it's really difficult to call a player of the match today. Del Castillo, in terms of the impact she's made in the second half, has been exceptional. Spain corner, late on. Didn't just get that away. See her inside, gets it back. Is there a winner in this game? That's a tricky one for Hampton. Maybe it isn't. She took that one in. Oh, great composure from the youngster. And look at that ball just pinged out to him. And Amp easily pass one. And wind it goes, numbers in attack, two trying to play it in. And Mappy Leon, her positioning has been fantastic as well. She's been exceptional at the back for Spain. England work it wide, runs, plenty forward here, and the ball in towards them, near post, Kirby. Shot, not hit cleanly at all by two. Well, really good play from England. Strong finish. Certainly helped for Lucy Bronze. Bombing for is a brilliant ball to the front post. And I don't know why Frank Kirby did not shoot. Well, Spain are going to make a final. This will be a final change. Esther Gonzalez, and they've really given this game to Real Madrid. Amoso goes off. Esther Gonzalez will come on. Well, certainly shown her qualities. It's always interesting to watch her play because she doesn't play as a traditional nine. Floats all over the pitch, creating problems. Here's Mappy Leon. This game could go either way. Del Castillo, nice touch inside. It's Del Castillo again. With Lucy Bronze at Torrid Time, which has gone on the ball. He's been keeping that pressure on. We want to try and win this here. Toon. Losing out there. Castillo almost got hold of that. Trigiharo. Been so easy for her today. Then Bronze putting a foot in. Trigiharo. I'm sure I've had an option there for once. Here's Ivana. Stefan wanted that ball over the top. There's lots of Real Madrid link ups on this pitch now at the moment. Here's Bon Matti. Tejas still in the game. And Barcelona midfield three still on the pitch. Bon Matti probing for Tejas. Class play to just move it on. Del Castillo goes on. Oh. <laughs> Almost announcing herself again. Well, I think Spain heard me criticise their wing play at half time because what a second half Del Castillo has had. And while I think Lucy Bronze has been good going forward, defensively she's had a work cut out. Well, I'll tell you what, who is your player of the match? <laughs> I'm going to give it to her for the impact she's made the second half. Look, I think across the board, Hampton, clean sheet on her debut. I think Ellen White has led the line well, and I think 
both Carter and Green would have been exceptional. But I'm going to give it to the sub. It's really eye-catching second-half display. It hasn't led to a goal yet. How much time will we see that it on here? That's a big crowd that's turned out for this one. Love something to cheer in this game. From either side, really. It's been the level on Matty. Evening turning. Harry gives it away. Daly. Williamson. Now Hemp. Lifting inside and away from tackle after tackle. Proteas with a foul, no complaints from her. Even when you think she might have lost the ball. She doesn't. I don't think I'm going to be too popular with that. <laughs> Four minutes added on. So, they're running out of time here for a winner. But Alex Greenwood can put in a good delivery. Will this be one of them? Spain, everybody back. Serena Vigman, right smile. Hopeful that England can nick it late on here. Greenwood. In it goes, and Daly's free. Spain wanted a free kick in there. And they'll bring it away. Ramona. Gonzalez. Are England a bit stretched here all of a sudden? Spain flooding shirts forward. Carter got something on that, but not enough of it. Del Castillo. Oh, there is Hampton, right at the death. What a counter-attack. I thought Del Castillo was going to nick it at the death. Flicked on from Jess Carter. She does so well, but Hampton, what a debut. Stands firmly behind it. Even the mild deflection. Del Castillo, only eight caps at the moment for Spain. It's safe to say that the 21-year-old's going to have a long more as well. Got a 21-year-old in Hemp, 21-year-old in Hampton, 21-year-old in Del Castillo. It's an exciting future. It's national level. I think for Spain to be real contenders this summer, they need players like Del Castillo. And as I mentioned before, Caldente to just add to their qualities going forward. And, and Luca Martins, impactful players for Barcelona from those areas. The Norwegian, the Dutchman as well. There's a challenge from him. The defensive duty so well. Only a couple of minutes left here. We had two 1 1s in the opening round of matches. Looking at a 0 0 here. Sheila Garcia. Skips inside Kirby. Sariegi. Gonzalez. On Matty. On Matty. Drifting inside, sending in the cross. But dealt with by Bronze. Helped off by two, but only as far as Esther Gonzalez. Shigehara, Bon Matty. Been working hard. Well, what a second half she's had. Bon Matty really come into the game, second half. Boteas, Garcia sends it in, away by Greenwood. Strong performance from her as well. Lots of standout performances in this game. Daly away. Now Toon. Touch though, gave it straight back to Spain. Last 30 seconds. A really entertaining nil-nil game, must be said. Lots to learn for both teams. And the England shown how well they are progressing without the ball and how good they're becoming defensively. This might be the last attack. Chigiharo. Spain stretching it. 
Bronx caught in two minds. Mona strikes Bronx with that one. So a stalemate, but certainly not a stale game. A really engaging contest between these two sides, top level sides as well in world football, that's for sure. England certainly had their chances. Roran Hemp hitting the post, but Spain also creating chances as well. Neither side could find a way through though. So it ends England nil, Spain nil, and all the analysis after the break.